How to find the missing angle in a triangle, part two. So, like all missing angle problems, we first need to find the angles that are given. Okay, in this case, we know this one is 90 degrees because it has the right angle symbol. Okay? Now, the other angle which is given is 39 degrees because it's stated 39. Okay, oftentimes you will, be, you will be given some other random angle like this. Don't be fooled by this because we're actually looking for this angle here. So this angle you doesn't really have a whole lot to do with this angle until we get to much, much further, more complicated problems. So don't even worry about it. We're just looking for this angle, and we know we have a right angle, which is 90 degrees, and we're given this one, which is 39. So you could actually completely ignore this triangle here. So now that we have our two given angles, what we need to do is we need to subtract them from 180. We need to subtract them from 180 because the if you add up all the angles in any triangle, no matter what kind of triangle you have, they will always add up to 180 degrees. If you don't believe me, ask your math teacher to prove it to you. It's actually not that complicated of a proof. Alright, so let's go ahead and substitute and subtract. So I substituted here, I put the 90 degrees here, 39 degrees here. E either order won't matter, you'll still get the same answer. And then I subtract and I get 51 degrees. So this will be 51 degrees. And that completes our problem.